It's no secret that Kevin Feige is the main reason why Marvel Studios is the Hollywood powerhouse it is today. He's been very at home running Marvel Studios for over a decade, but from what we've read, he may be leaving the biggest superhero studio in the world. Before he started producing the Marvel movies, the company was in very bad shape. They were close to bankruptcy, and they took a real gamble on making the first Iron Man movie. Feige was the main producer of that movie, and many say without his guidance and leadership, along with Jon Favreau, the movie's director, the film would have been a flop. This would have meant that the Marvel Cinematic Universe wouldn't have existed, and we wouldn't be getting these incredible Marvel movies, and now TV shows on Disney+. The MCU's success is the stuff of Hollywood legend these days. I'm sure that it'll go down in Hollywood history, and people will be, and probably already are, studying Feige's leadership for the studio. Please like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. You didn't see that coming? So, is president of Marvel Kevin Feige considering quitting the studio after Avengers Secret Wars? There's a claim out there at GFR that sources with close ties to Marvel and Disney have said that Marvel Studios' top guy is seriously considering leaving his position after the release of Secret Wars. This shouldn't come as much of a surprise, he's been basically at the helm of Marvel Studios since 2008, and we're sure he might be looking for new challenges in his career. That's a long time to be at the head of a movie studio. Anyway, it does seem as though one of his main goals with the MCU was to get to Secret Wars, which is one of Marvel's most famous and popular comic book runs. Marvel's head honcho announced that Avengers Secret Wars would wrap up the MCU to use Phase 6, and we think that would be a good time to hand over the reins to someone else. And if you think about it, it would be kind of poetic. Jonathan Hickman's run on Secret Wars had the multiverse collapsing in on itself due to what are called incursions, which pitted reality against reality until there was only one left, effectively leaving one single Marvel universe. We don't want to spoil the comic if any of you decide to give it a read after this, so suffice to say the necessary players are either already in the MCU or about to make it into the fold. Once the Fantastic Four arrive on the scene, the stage is set and they can get Secret Wars started. Again, we're not going to spoil anything, but we'll just say that at the end of 2015's Secret Wars, the multiverse is allowed to begin anew with a brand new creator. There's so much to take charge of now. Do you have any idea what that entails? And we've been hearing for a while that Feige's wanted to bring in producers and directors that could handle the movies and TV shows themselves. It was also revealed back in 2020 that the Marvel boss was going to be making a super secret Star Wars movie, so maybe he would like to spend more time on that particular project. It's no secret he's a big Star Wars fan and we wouldn't be surprised to see him take a more active role in that particular franchise moving forward. Do you think Avengers Secret Wars would be a good time for him to step down? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, we do read all of them. Also be sure to check out our video on the new Punisher series where we have exclusive script details. And if you're liking our videos, make sure to check out our news and exclusives playlist. Thanks for watching and see you next time.